pocket, that's why. So is mine. Less carbonated. You're less carbonated. Yours is lemonade. Mine's a beer. <laughs> it's a little bit different. Why do you ride the train more with a drink? Physics. You know, learn physics. Did you take physics? Um. Exactly. You're too worried about cheerleading in high school. And boys. Okay, we're officially back in London. As you can see, <laughs> big double decker buses and Christmas lights everywhere. And it already feels very touristy, which is just how I want it. <laughs> it feels so special. And we have a lot of visitors coming. Sam's parents are coming. My mom's coming. So we are booked up the next month and a half. And Sam, I already know you are dreading how busy the next month and a half is going to be. Are you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, but, so tonight we're just going out with some friends. So I want to start off this vlog very festive. Um, Green Park Station, the second you walk out, is just alive. So we're going to go out in Soho. And after this, festivity begins. like November 19th or something. And we are putting up the Christmas tree. Wolfie, you're working hard. Yeah. We are not wasting any time. It is Christmas in London. Woohoo! Ah. Super excited to add some of my new ornaments from this fall's travels. I got these in Frankfurt. And they put little incense in them, incense cones. Got this in Amsterdam, that in Munich. It's so fun! Wow! Crash! Ouch! <laughs> that was fun. I haven't done a photograph in forever. Yeah, but it didn't work. <laughs> wow. Well. It didn't give us any time to pose. <laughs> I'm a poser. You are a poser. Lucky little American flag with our Thanksgiving display. Whoa, backwards, backwards. It kind of 
butts up to um, like Mayfair and Soho and like Hyde Park close. Okay. We've made it to Elizabeth Street, which is extremely charming and festive. People sitting outside. It is so nice out this temperature. And then the decorations and the lights are just everywhere. Oh, this is magical. Say out there? Yeah, you can put this one right back there. Is this his size? No, he needs longer than that. Thank you. Thank you. Can you follow him and I'll do it. Yeah. Yep, on Pimlico Road. And we're gonna find our little spot for dinner. Do you want me to explain what we have? Yeah. <laughs> it's Sunday in, in the UK. Do traditional it's actually roast. Sunday everywhere. <laughs> Typical Sundays in the UK. Do Sunday roast. So a lot of shepherd's pie, a lot of stuff in cast iron, you know, feel good food. So we got ourselves a roasted ham chicken, puffed potato pastry, <laughs> potatoes, and then it's always like carrots and stuff yeah. on the bottom, which is nice and homey. Sunday meal with the gravy. Oh yeah, baby. See, yeah, I don't really care for it. I like more like flavor. This is flavor. I know, I just, Let's something about, I, you know I want to like it. You know I want to yeah. love everything British. <laughs> That's what I just can't really get behind. And I also have chicken. I don't like a chicken on a bone. I don't like bone in that. Well, when things are cooked on the bone, they're juicier. Well, more flavors get absorbed into the meat. Yeah. So. Yeah, I just, I don't like extra work. I'd rather have like a chicken breast. I understand. I got a beautiful burrata salad with some pumpkin, with some rosemary fries, some focaccia. Yum. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Good morning, Wolfie. Where are your pants? His breakfast this morning has been sausage, pickle, egg, but he didn't eat it, and now a pen of chocolate. You are a random eater, my man. Okay, I just shot some content for Cozy Earth, which these jammies are, and I love them so much. Oh my God, are they soft? You can kind of tell. These are thin too, because I like to really cuddle up at night, so I don't want heavy pajamas in the winter. Um, but I have a code until the 27th of November, Decker 45, 45% off. So I'm hoping to get this vlog up by then so that you can use this code and I'll put my direct link in the video description, but I will have definitely posted it all over my socials before that. So wanted to show that and I just made the bed. Let me show you my little trick. So after I make the bed, I just gave it a little spritz of Joe Malone Scarlet Poppy, which is like a super soft, warm, inviting scent. Oh, I just love it. So trying to catch up today, trying to like get things cleaned and going. Um, if you are looking for bedding, this color sage, I just put on these fresh sheets. I cannot wait to go to bed tonight and get everything all fresh, but this sage color is so beautiful and calming. This guy just came in here with this. <laughs> Dirty face, come here, come here. So he had a bad fall last night. So he has a fat <laughs> He has a runny nose, he has chocolate, and who knows what else all over his face. Right on my clean bed and my new blanket. No, 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 stop it. <laughs> Wolfie, where's the dino? Where's the dino? Yeah. Chuck. So anyways, about Cozy Earth, it is the best gift to give a couple, maybe it's for a college dorm, maybe it's a married couple anniversary, maybe it's your friend who just got a new apartment, maybe it's your friends who just moved in together, like a sheet set of good high quality sheets, that is a nice gift. And take advantage of this 45% off because they're pricey and the 45% off helps a lot. Um, we love ours, we pack it when we live overseas. We give it as gifts all the time. We have it um, at our Wisconsin condo. We have it at our Kansas City house. And yeah, we just live for good sheets. And once you have really good sheets, you're kind of a snob about them. So I've kind of become a snob about good sheets. 
So we love them. Yeah, Decker45 will be the code. Decker40 is my normal code if you don't see this by the 27th. Um, so still 40% off is really good. So great Christmas gift, holiday gift if you're looking for something. I feel like it is for anyone. But if you really like the brand and you want to keep exploring, check out their pajamas. That's what Sam and I both have. Wolfie does not because he likes to wear dino pajamas. Also, yesterday I got my hair done. That was very exciting. And then Sam got me a massage in our apartment last night, which, to be fair, I gave him a million hints. I was like, I've been doing so much for everyone. No one does anything for me. No. I've, hey, eh, 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 watch it. Careful. God, that kid makes me nervous. I'm like, so sore from, like, carrying him around and the travel to Germany. I just hadn't, like, caught my breath. So, yeah, he took a hint. He took a hint, which, you know, you don't have to be so subtle. You can just... I kept sending him links on Instagram, on DMs. I was like, this place looks good. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, this time of year is a slippery slope. And um, this is actually real talk. Let me get in the kitchen for this. Let me get my coffee. Right now it's the week of Thanksgiving. So this will be like my Thanksgiving vlog. We've been busy already. Um, we have two kind of Thanksgiving dinners. We have a Monday night that already happened with Sam's team at a fancy steakhouse. It was really nice. I didn't shoot any content because I was just kind of enjoying the time with the team. Um, and then Friday, we're hosting like a Friendsgiving for the team, um, but a little bit more informal. We've rented the rooftop space at um, our building has these amenities. So, you know, it's nice not having to like clean your own place for that. Um, but yeah, anyways, I just feel like since we've gotten back from Germany, I've had like no alone time with Sam. They've had games. They have a game tonight, game tomorrow. Um, and I also just felt like I was playing catch up and still working and still trying to um, like just get us settled back into a routine. Honestly, the person who's doing best with this is Wolfie. For whatever reason, I've had a hard time like catching my breath and it's only November. Cause when I look at our calendar, all I see is a really busy holiday season. And I know so many people feel like this and you're excited for it. And like, believe me, a lot of the plans I'm making myself. We have one off day, I'm booking us something as a family. So I'm digging my own grave here, but I also feel like I have to make the season so special for our kid now who like gets it. Like he's saying, ho, ho, ho. I wanna make our apartment festive. I wanna have like really fun plans on Christmas. Um, like I said, we have a lot of visitors coming. London is like the hub of Christmas, so no pressure. Like I'm trying to seek out the best dinner reservations, the best Christmas markets, like making it special for the visitors who are coming. Is it my lap? Oh, here's a wolf boy. Here's a wolf boy. So anyways, I've just, I've been like tight chested lately and I'm, I'm driving myself crazy. I'm definitely driving Sam crazy. And I don't know, I just feel, I feel a bit overwhelmed and I feel like I can't catch up. Honestly, when I started this vlog, I thought if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this very raw. Like I'm actually gonna sit and talk about things. And I think this is something a lot of people can agree with. This time of year is lovely and amazing and we look forward to it and it's such festivity, but it's a lot. It's a lot, so. Okay, so that's all I have time for on that rant. Time to move on. I'm just trying to tackle my to-do list. Tonight I have my um, show for Bed MGM and then rush off to Sam's game. And <laughs> then tomorrow we're getting ready to host Friendsgiving. But yeah, comment if you get what I'm saying. I know you're out there. I know y'all feel it, um, but like life is good. We have our health, we have each other. Sam is way more chill than me and he's so patient with me. So I'm grateful to be married to someone who keeps me in check. I just, I just wake up and I feel behind. Does anyone feel like that? It's not a good feeling. And it makes you just kind of feel like, Ooh. if I had to put it into a word, it's Ooh. <laughs> it's how I feel. I just want to make sure I'm on it, you know? You did open it. I don't think you should have that gum. Okay, just finished up the show, some work. Don't you love like what a ring light can do? Look at this. Um, my whole crew was giving me hell for already having my Christmas tree up. 
I'm a pre-Thanksgiving Christmas tree person, I've learned. I just feel like you you spend the money on the decorations. I want to get a lot of wear out of them. And Thanksgiving, the lights, the colors, the everything, like, I just feel like they go hand in hand. My mom always did a bunch of trees and decorations before, so let me know if you're a pre-Thanksgiving Christmas decoration and music person, because we are in this house. Okay, I'm going to put on my shoes, my bag, get ready. Wolfie is playing with his nanny, so I gotta leave before they come back so we don't have to do the tears at goodbye, and then head to Sam's game. Here's the fit. Who does she think she is wearing an open-toed shoe when it is so cold out but I just got a pedicure yesterday and I feel like this like caramely coffee suede is so Thanksgiving-y. So I wanna do that. And this sweater is from Zara, but looks like Gucci. And I'm doing my Gucci bag, so it really hones in that look. But here it is. I feel like it has a very retro look with kind of the flared pant and stuff. And then if you know me, you know I always will clip my hair up and keep it curled because it does not curl or hold curl. So this is my way at attempting to get a little bit more shelf life out of my curl. That's all right? Yeah. No snacks? No... Mm, I think I'm good for now. Okay. I might come back later for something. Okay. Cheers! These might just have to go in here. Me also has one. Room for anything else. Oh my god, nobody's gonna get out there. <laughs> Hello, it is Thanksgiving Day in the States <laughs> and we are having our Thanksgiving tomorrow with friends, so on Friday. So I'm at Greenwich Market getting some last minute things for our dinner. It's kind of a potluck, but I still um, feel like as we're hosting it a bit because it's at our building, I want to make sure that we have a lot of fun little things and Greenwich Market is my favorite. Sam and Wolfie just went to the little playground and I'm going to do some shopping. Okay, just found this beautiful kimono style jacket. And they had it in this beautiful olive and navy and black. I'm gonna go with the navy. And I feel like it kind of looks like the big Dior toes. <laughs> Which maybe I'm crazy for thinking that, but it's kind of a twall pattern, but with like jungle theme. And they're all made from vintage scarves? Yeah, Is they're that? made from uh, raw materials. Like these oh. all are here are made from used vintage saris. Yeah. So similar to that like uh, scrap materials. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it, so beautiful. That's great, yeah. Thank you. Have to stop for a little sausage roll. Um, the shatterproof kind. Getting that tree looking nice, getting festive. Your big help, bud. Okay, it is Black Friday, but it's kind of our Thanksgiving. We have a little sick one today, which is sad. He slept till 10:20. So unlike him, I thought we were just getting really lucky, and then we realized, yeah, he's a little bit sick. So. Um, trying to figure that out. Took him on a long walk and he napped for like an hour. It's a gorgeous day out, so I'm glad at least he got some fresh air and sunshine. We have to move on with our day and start cooking. Some cookies first. My trick to all my baking is adding a little bit of extra olive oil. That's how I made the brownies that got Sam to fall madly in love with me. I would bring them all over the country, meet him on the road, bring these magic brownies. <laughs> the secret ingredient was just olive oil, so that's my trick. I'll show you. 
biggest tip for hosting anything or making a dinner is clean as you go. Have a dishwasher, empty, and just keep loading her up. Okay, next up, I'm making my mom's famous, <laughs> in our family, southern cornbread dressing. We made it a couple years ago in Ankara, and I'll try to put the link to that video. That was two, three years ago. Um, and I had the same problem there that I have here in England, is I can't find Jiffy cornbread mix anywhere. And cornbread is like the main ingredient, the superstar ingredient in her, her dressing, which is basically stuffing, but she insists on calling it cornbread dressing because she says that's what you call it in the South. I'm not gonna fight her on this one. So for her purpose, we are calling it cornbread dressing. So let me show you the first step. Since I didn't find the cornbread, which I would have made a couple days before, and let get stale, that's like her trick, so you want it really dry and crumbly, and then you add that to the chicken stock concoction. So because I didn't have cornbread, I got brioche buns instead. I figured that was the next best thing. I've kind of picked up this one because they are so freaking yummy. I can't walk by them without picking, but they are nice and stale. I've let them sit out, um, I guess just like a day and a half almost. Okay, chopping up the celery and white onion. I'm gonna start boiling chicken stock. Okay, so once I crumbled a good bit of those in, you want the consistency soupy. I added three eggs, apple cider vinegar. I'd say that it looks soupy. And then you season it. It always reminds me of my grandpa is no longer with us, Papa, because this is my grandma's recipe and probably even more down the line than that. But every time he would always say more sage. So it's like a joke in our family. You could give him a bite of anything and he would just say more sage. So in his honor, lots of sage. Go. See you in an hour. One hour. It's got a nice little crunchiness to it. But I still see it soft underneath. Ooh, I can't wait. It smells like Thanksgiving at my mom's house. Now time to crack open this bad boy and start our night. Okay. Clean up our table a bit. Do this for a little festive welcome drink. Uh, Ma'am, can I have a um, double? Uh, double. <laughs> just can I have a double? <laughs> double what? Okay, I mix up the punch. We need the ice. Um, we need a taste test. Okay, bars all set up. Looking you sure good. you don't want anything? Water. No, I'm good. Yeah, Lyric, a glass of wine would make babysitting so much more fun. Uh, I don't think I should. Okay. <laughs> well, it's okay with us. <laughs> it's a holiday. So there's this big, I don't know how someone looked this up, but. Just drink it out of my mug. You got the good one again? Yeah. Oh, I had to buy it again. <laughs> like, you buy it again. back. Yeah. No, that's what I say. Oh, no, no, because someone... I saw it on the blog. Like, no. I, should I buy it again? I go on a trip. I want it. Is that the vlog? Is this a vlog? This is the vlogging yeah. camera. But uh, you said day. that on a blog. <laughs> Josh is you tell me you've been on camera all day. Yeah, yeah. 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 he kept slipping it down. Today. You need to start charging for a minute. I need to. Uh -huh. I know. Um, someone at Soho House has it from Halloween, yeah, yeah. Oh, you left it. and I would love them to at least email me the pictures that we yeah. took outside yeah. of Soho House. Yeah. Just give it back. Just send the pictures. Like, just send that like SD card. Mail it to me with like, with, like no like you return address. Camera. Yeah, yeah. Uh, people coming from across the globe. And first Thanksgivings, uh, ones that are expected coming across from uh, taking tests and, and making us food and coming here on short contracts and not never knowing what the the future holds. But you know, this is where we come together, uh, communal style. Uh, that's what Thanksgiving's all about, us Americans. You know, guys know that you know it's about bringing together people that are family. And when you're overseas, uh, your team becomes a family. So I appreciate you guys. This is a really, really cool group of people, and it's an honor to go to work with you guys every day and uh, do stuff like this. Enjoy the spoils of our labor and have some fun, and um, you know, bring in a new year soon and do some big things together. So cheers, everybody! Cheers. Uh, happy Thanksgiving and thanks for joining us tonight. Cheers, cheers. Cheers, y'all. Cheers. 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 Well done.
and just being involved in like the basketball world because I've never experienced it before and I've learned a lot of life lessons and I've met a lot of people that have taught me a lot of lessons as well and I feel like I've grown as a person like confidence as well like last year I was an S but now I feel like I've got my shit together I'm grateful for this is maybe my favorite that. speech ever <laughs> okay I'm done let's go let's go gay Amy gay Amy I want to thank for me. No way. It takes no. Is it thankful for all me? of us? Yes. It takes, no, it takes a lot of work to be away from home. It takes a lot of sacrifices for the girls. It takes a lot of alone time to be away from everyone. And I'm thankful for I'm thankful for all of you. But I'm thankful for everything that I've become and all the things I've learned because it's hard and it's lonely sometimes. And being here with all of you, it makes my heart happy, and with Kona. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I just wanted to thank, I think all of us, we should thank ourselves because this is a very difficult world, and at least for me, none, none of my friends are related to basketball, and none of my friends or family understand what, is, what this is, but I think all of you know, and it's difficult, but this is a family. Thank you. Oh, Alalia. That was amazing. Salud. Salud. Say I'm Alali. I mean, just even being on the team last year, I don't think we did anything like this. So obviously that shows we got a special group this year. And um, thankful for Julia who's able to come all the way from New York several times a year just to see me. Um, even though I think she's here to see most of the other girlfriends and wives more than me half the time. But um, yeah, just, you know, thank you for everyone. Um, I was saying this before we left today that I was like, we've had a lot of Thanksgivings, just us two, like over the past couple years because I'm in school. This is like the only time I can visit. Um, and Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. Um, yeah, my favorite. For uh, but I think it's like really special, like because I think of Thanksgiving as like a family holiday. Oh, yeah. That it's like special that we have people that we're close enough to like have this big meal all together, and it for it to feel like when I was a little kid. I was saying I was like it's healing my inner child, <laughs> like Aww. being like a little kid, and I love it. I'm thankful for you that you brought me this life. Yeah. Oh. You're welcome. <laughs> 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 and it was about happiness. It's the longest study ever done on happiness. It's 80 something years, never been done before. So they've interviewed these people who went to Harvard, who grew up dirt poor, with parents, without parents, good marriages, bad marriages, everything. And what they found is the only thing that is equating to your happiness, it's not wealth, once your basic needs are met, once your basic needs are met over like 70,000, happiness does not increase or decrease. It is only your relationships. Good relationships, warm, deep relationships. It's not about how many people, but it's about the quality. And I was walking our baby today around the city that we love so much and thinking about tonight and so excited to see all of you. And we're here for a second year. We've got a couple more years after this. I hope we're here forever. You guys have made this feel like home. Um, Thanksgiving always kicks off like this festive time of year where everyone gets a little bit homesick and you know, we're all far from home, most of us. <laughs> and it's just so special that we've been able to create a home here. We love you guys so much. We're really glad you're here. This has been so much fun. Um, I hope this goes a couple more hours longer and then Sam's wheel bearing me out of here. <laughs> That's the type of night this should be. That's what Thanksgiving's all about. I wish you all health, happiness, and connection this whole holiday season. Okay, they kicked us out of our place. 10 p.m. We'd be out, so we have all made a wine walk, which is the best kind of walk. What a fucking walk! Yeah, walk. 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 He turned his five pounds. Oh, we're shot. Are you up that price on your So we thought we'd go for one more. Oh look, Sam's scouting. Sam's scouting the first one. <laughs> Oh, it's a little, 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 it
seven. Is Victor working? I'm sorry, I took both of you. That's right. Did you have fun? I did. We'll watch out. Okay. Van coming. Ambulance. Take us. Take us home. Yeah. Pick us up. I should have asked. 